Dear parents, welcome back. I am Sonam. I am here to give you update three on our e-learning 2.0 journey. To help us improve in our e-learning journey, parents have given us feedback through Miley as well as through weekly parent feedback. We are thankful to all parents who have taken out their time from the busy schedule to provide us with a feedback. Now, let me begin with update for week 3. We have introduced two new concepts this week, which is the weekly plan and the daily plan. These plans will now provide all lesson-related information to parents and students in advance. Let's understand what a weekly plan is. A weekly plan is a plan which provides an overview of what will be accomplished in the coming week. Here's a sample of the weekly plan. As you all see, this plan has been divided into various parts. The first part gives us general information about for which week is this plan for, about the previous week's attendance, and the timetable for the coming week. Below, you will see a detailed plan prepared by the teacher to inform the parent of what they plan to do for the entire week. Weekly plans will be given to the parents on every Fridays. Now, let us have a look at the daily plan. A daily plan is a detailed plan of what will be taught by the teacher along with all the necessary links to resources. Students can therefore learn at their pace and time convenience. As this plan is going to be available a day prior, students can continue learning even if there's an internet connectivity issue. Let us have a look at how a daily plan looks like. If you have a closer look at this plan, you will see that it gives you more detail about what the teacher is planning to teach for a particular day. It also provides you what material to be kept ready for the lesson and the Zoom links for the next day's lesson. In case you have missed a particular lesson because of internet connectivity issue, it also provides you with necessary resource links. This plan will be available to the parents a day in advance. Now, let us look at some highlights for the next week's update. We plan to reduce learning hours for the primary grade students. Also, the uses of website for accessing information quickly will be introduced. Now, let us have a look at the video tutorial prepared by Ms. Paktawa for students on how to add work in the class notebook. Warm greetings to my dear students. We at Arinsha International School are so happy to have the second week of e-learning come to an end. We are overjoyed to see how you have cruised through these two weeks, slowly adapting, complaining a little, but most of all, enjoying it. This is a short video tutorial on how to upload your classwork on Microsoft Class Notebook and making the e-learning experience even smooth. I'm quickly going to share my screen and I'm going to show you two tutorials. One is a tutorial of how to upload your material using a laptop or a PC and another is a tutorial on how you would upload using your mobile phone. First, we shall begin with how to upload by using your desktop or PC. The first step is to open your Teams app. You will see various teams that you are a part of in your Teams app. You open the subject that you want to be a part of or where you want to upload your material. You click on your subject and you have the class notebook option on the top panel. The moment you click on class notebook, your notebook will open. Once 
the web page has loaded once your app has loaded completely you have to click on this particular arrow which says open navigation panel when we click on that we see our notebook now the left section this section is the part of the sections of your book and this section shows the pages since i am a teacher i see all the student notebooks however you being a student you will see only your notebook so when you click on your name you will see the sections of your notebook so the first step is to click on the section you want to upload your material in the moment you click on the section you will see the list of pages now the first one that is a blank page is where i want to add my material so on this particular dash that you see here we write the topic or the name of the page so for example i put cs 01 which is conducted on 22nd on the 2nd of july 2020 now the next thing i want to do is simply paste my work right so how do i do that now since you all are taking a picture of all the work that you are doing you go to insert and you click on picture and you select from file now when you select from file you get an insert picture dialog box on your screen the next thing you do is you choose a file when you click on choose file you get all the files of your pc so for example i want to upload this image of this is the work that i've done today so i want to upload that so i click on the image and i click on open now this image is attached in this dialog box once it's attached i click on insert and here is my picture that's being loaded and uploaded and here i have my work uploaded it is that simple kids so you all i am very very sure can do it very well all right now you don't have to save it you don't have to do anything you just have to exit your teams app and it will automatically get saved in your particular notebook All right. Now, quickly showing you how to upload things on your from your mobile phone. So I'm going to stop my screen share from my laptop, and I'm going to screen share from my mobile phone. So here is my mobile phone sharing the screen. This is a look of my mobile phone. The first thing that I do here again is to open the Teams app. Now here I have the Teams app, so I click on it and I open it. The moment I open the Teams app, I have an option of Teams over here, which is in the control panel, which is below. So when I click on that, I see a list of various teams that I am a part of. Now I go, for example, I want to go to Commercial Studies of Grade Six. That's my subject. I click on General. The moment I click on that, I have various options such as post, files, and more. So to upload my stuff, I have to click on more. The moment I click on more, I get an option of class notebook. So I click on class notebook, and it will automatically redirect me to the OneNote app. What does this mean? This means that I have to have the OneNote app in my phone in order. to publish or to post any work in my notebook now i see my notebook my welcome page my collaboration space my content library and my name again because i am a teacher i see everybody's name but since you are a student you will only see your notebook when you click on your name you will see the various sections of your book now since i want to upload in a01 that is knowledge and understanding i will click on that the moment i click on that i already have one page over here what what if i want to add another page so i click on this plus sign below that will add another page for me so here opens a new page so i want to put my cs1 in this which is conducted on 20 on the 2nd of july 2020 now i want to paste my work 
I click on this white space over here and right above my keyboard, I have an option of a small camera. I click on that and I get various options. One is to take a picture through which I can directly click on this and it will open up my camera. So when I do that, I can directly take a picture. For example, this is my work. I take a picture of that and once I click done, it will get posted on my page. However, I want to post a picture which I have already clicked in my phone. So again, I click on this camera which is over here and I click on from library. That is from my mobile library. It asks permission so on which I click OK. And I will get a glance of all the photographs of my library. It is taking a little time to load. So let's reload it from library. Yes. So here I have all the pictures. I go to the picture. For example, I want to post this one. So I select that and then I click on done. The moment I click on done, I get the screen wherein it asks me to confirm or I can also add new. For example, I have more than one pictures. So I click on add new. And again, it takes me to this screen wherein I can take a picture of anything or I can simply go to my pictures from this icon and select the other picture that I want to upload. For example, I want to upload this one. Okay, now I have added my pictures and now I cl simply click on done. The moment you click on done, your work will get posted in your notebook. So here is all the pictures that I wanted to upload and they are all posted in my book. Now what do I do next? I simply click on back and I see all my pages here and I close the app. All right. So guys, it is as simple as that. So we hope that you are able to cruise through very, very well and you are able to understand the very simple thing on how to upload your classwork on your class notebook, on your Microsoft class notebook. We hope that this helps you and we hope that you understand. Thank you very much. On behalf of the management, principal, teacher and staff members, I'd like to thank each one of you for your constant support. To conclude, I'd like to quote that you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Please join us in making your child learning journey an enjoyable one. I take your leave as of now and see you all next Saturday with e-learning 2.0 update 4.